Yes, we are going to verse 5 of Psalm 23. We have seen in verse 4 how God has always given us the victory because he is always by our side whenever we pass through challenges, temptations, or tests. He is there with us. He wants us to make use of the word of God we have learned over the years, over the months, over the weeks, over the days to make use of our life and for us to grow in him. So once we overcome those challenges, no, once you pass through a test or once a student in school pass an exam, he needs to be promoted. The same thing is applicable here according to the word of God. In verse 5 says, you prepared a table before me in the presence of my enemy. Who prepared? God himself prepared the table. Sometimes when we are passing through challenges, we would like all those who struggle us to die. We don't want them to be alive. But God, even when you pray that God should kill them, God will not kill them. Because God wants to make a show off of you before them to show that your God is the most powerful God in the entire planet, in the entire universe. I want you to understand that. God wants to showcase you to the enemies, to those who hate you, to those who are causing those problems over your life. So let's see what the Bible says. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemy. In other words, when you go prepare a table, there's a lot of dishes, testimonies, miracles all over the place. God is designing your life as a testimony. God is making your life a, a, a fruitful one. Now that you have passed through the valley of the shadow of death, you pass through the testing, you pass through the but through the temptation, the trials of life, now you won through the word of God, through the power of the Holy Spirit in you. And what is next? Is testimony. This year is going to be our year of testimonies. As long as we are in the will of God, as long as we are obeying the word of God for our life. So it said, that prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemy. Some enemies... God knows how to deal with them. Some will be alive to see God doing miraculous things in your life. And that is going to be your portion in Jesus' name. He said, you anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. The presence of God is always there. The Lord has made your enemy handicap. The Lord has made your enemy to be ineffective with their powers. And all their strategy to pull you down. The Lord has made your enemy to see you the way God wants them to see you. As, as a champion, as a victorious someone, as someone that will continue to see God as a holy help. I would say our help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. So God will make your enemy to see your goodness. God will make your enemy to see the blessing he has designed for you. I say, my cup runs over. The blessings of God, the presence of God is always there with him. That is, you are always are constantly in fellowship with God. Whenever a king will be will be anointed or to be to be to be to be choosing, they pour the anointing oil on them. And before you know the spirit of God will come upon them and they will continue sometime prophesy, behave like a prophet, and the wisdom of God will be there for them. To use it to rule the people. The same thing is applicable to every child of God. Whenever you are constantly in a fellowship with you, with God the Father, God the Son, and God the Spirit, you will behave like Him. And constantly will be like Him. And verse 6 says, Surely, that is, constantly, goodness and mercy shall follow us shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. So this is going to be all what we are to us, all routine throughout our lifestyle. As long that you are in fellowship with him, as long as you are obeying his rules and command, designed for the church a dispensation, you are not just a Christian by mouth, but you are obeying 
the word of God, he says, surely his goodness will be on you. God's mercy will be on you. When the mercy of God speaks, judgment calm down. The mercy of God projects one to the place of honor, to the place of blessing, to the place where your life becomes a testimony, where you continue to do the will of God. Where people continue to see you and see God in you as the one working it out on a daily basis in you to please him, to be in his presence. Say, surely his goodness and mercy shall not will. Shall. That is what will be the constant effect of your life. Say, surely. When God says surely, <laughs> his statement of affirmation that this will happen to those who trusted the Lord. See, even though I pass through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil because you are with me. I am in fellowship with you. And he says, he will prepare it before me in the presence of my enemy because you are anointing my head with oil and my cup runs over. So we are fully protected. So this is what will happen to us. Surely is goodness. God's goodness will be over us. Over things that concerns us shall follow us and his mercy shall follow us. All the days, not some of the days. So if you are constantly in fellowship with God, the presence of God will constantly be with you. The mercy of God will constantly be with you. The goodness of God will constantly be with you. The favor of God will constantly be with you. The blessings of God will constantly be with you. The knowledge of God will constantly be with you. The wisdom needed to live this life will constantly be with you. And that is a promise of God for your life. And I want you to take charge of that. That is the plan of God for you. He said, I will dwell and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. That should be our aim. That it will constantly be in fellowship with Him. We don't need a special place called the house of God, unlike what we have today. Though people are building big, big uh, physical church, but that is quite different from the church that God has designed. The Bible says, our body is a temple of the Most High God. You don't need to go to a place before you serve God or you worship God. In other words, what I mean, I did not say that you should not go to the church. I mean that your body itself is a temple of God, that God wants to dwell that God wants to use as an instrument to glorify his name. So God wants you to be in fellowship with him. God wants you to study the word of God. Let me challenge you. Take the word of God seriously. Study the word of God. Make use of the word of God. Apply the Bible doctrine that you are learning. Apply the principle you derive from it. So that the knowledge of God will be manifesting in you. So that others seeing you will see the power of God in your life. I pray the Lord continue to help us to do His will in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for listening to all the series that we have for Psalm 23. I hope it bless you. Send it to your friends. Like and share. Both on Facebook and YouTube. We also send it on TikTok as well. I pray the Lord will be your guide. In the mighty name of Jesus, 2024 shall be a year whereby we're going to walk with the Lord and we're going to be perfect through His grace, through His blessings, through the provision He has made that, uh, available for us. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We bless you for what you have done. Give us the grace to study the book of Psalm 23. Thank you, Lord, for the goodness. I pray your purpose for our life come to reality. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a wonderful day once again. I want you to love, share, like, and send it to your friends. Subscribe to our Facebook and our YouTube. I know you'll be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.